Hi everybody. Today on Rachel Cooks with Love, I'm going to prepare a big, beautiful pot of white beans and ham soup. Now this is a perfect way to use up your leftover holiday ham. If you don't have any leftover holiday ham, not a problem. You can still buy your favorite ham and prepare this delicious soup. It is packed with flavor, it's hearty, and your whole family will love it. And today I'm going to show you how to make it, step by step. Let's get started. Now before you get started with your white beans and ham soup, you want to clean your beans and you want to soak them. Now I'm going to be using great northern beans today and I'm going to be using one pound. You see, you can use any brand that you want. If you can't find great northern beans, you can use navy beans, cannellini beans, pinto beans. I think they're all good. Now I like to get my beans and I like to spread them over the counter and I like to remove all the badly broken beans, any little rocks, debris and all. And then I take the pot over to the sink and I rinse them really good. And then I fill the pot up with water just about an inch over the beans. And then I bring them up to a boil. As soon as they come up to a boil, I turn off the heat and then I just let them sit there for one hour. So my beans are ready, as you can see, they've been soaking for almost one hour. So I wanted to show you these. Now another thing that I like to do is I like to prepare my chicken broth ahead of time. You can use homemade chicken broth, you can use store-bought chicken broth, or you can use better than bouillon. Now today I'm going to be using Nor chicken bouillon because I love the flavor, but it's up to you to use whichever you like, okay? So I'm going to be using eight cups of water. So I like to do this ahead of time so that it has plenty of time for it to dissolve and sit here and pick up on all that delicious flavor. So I'm going to fill up my big mixing bowl here with eight cups of water. So there's my eight cups of water. I'm going to put in my chicken bouillon. See, and I'm going to mix it up really good like this so that it'll dissolve and it'll be ready to go. When you have all your ingredients ready and you have everything lined up, everything just falls into place beautifully. So now that I have my chicken broth ready and my beans are ready to go, now we can go to the stove. So I'm going to be preparing my soup in this Dutch oven right here. And I've got my heat set on medium. I'm going to put in one tablespoon of butter and one tablespoon of olive oil. I think the olive oil keeps the butter from burning. And that's why I like to use them both together like this. Now I'm going to add my onions. I have one and a half cups of diced onions. Now I'm going to move them around like this until they get slightly translucent. So my onions are slightly translucent. Now I'm going to add my carrots. I've got three medium sized carrots and I've cut them up into pieces about this size. My Ron doesn't like real tiny pieces of carrots. So I cut them up into about bite size. And I'm going to add my celery. I have two celery ribs right here. And I'm also using some of the leaves because I think that it gives it a delicious flavor in here. Now I'm going to be moving my vegetables around like this and I'm going to let them sweat for about five minutes like this. Now I also have two pieces of smoked neck bone right here. See these are nice and cold. I'm going to put them in here and I'm going to put this piece in here too. And I'm going to stir them around together like this. Now these are smoked. They're going to add a delicious flavor to this bean soup. It's going to be so good. And these are going to cook nice and slow. So I'm just going to be moving this around for about five minutes like this. So it's been about five minutes. Look at my smoked neck bones right here. I can smell them already. You want to make sure that you use smoked neck bones. Now you can also use a smoked ham hock. I think these work perfectly because they're not very big and they've got a very good amount of meat in them. Now I've got three large garlic cloves and they're finely minced. So I'm going to add my garlic in there and one tablespoon of tomato paste together with a minced garlic. And I'm going to move them around for about one minute. Let that garlic and tomato paste come together and release their flavor in here. So 
So it's been about one minute and my garlic and my tomato paste have come together in here beautifully. Now I'm gonna add my chicken broth. Very carefully. Now this is eight cups. Oh, this is gonna be so good. Now I'm gonna add my seasoning. I have half a teaspoon of rub sage, one teaspoon of dried thyme leaves, one teaspoon of crushed rosemary, half a teaspoon of ground cumin. That's gonna take it up one big notch. And I have one teaspoon and a half of ground mustard. Now, if you have ground mustard at home, be sure to use it. When it comes in together with the rest of the seasoning, it just brings everything in in a beautiful way. I love to use ground mustard when I make soups. Now I have two bay leaves. I'm gonna put them in there. I'm also gonna add half a teaspoon of freshly ground black pepper. And I'm gonna add my beans. See, they're nice and plump. Ooh, look at this. Now I wanna make sure that my smoked neck bones stay at the bottom like this because I want them to cook really well. See, so you wanna bury them in there like that. I'm gonna lower my temperature to a low setting. You don't want it at a rolling boil, but you do want a little bubble here and a little bubble there. It cooks really well like that. Now I didn't add any salt because my smoked neck bones and the ham and the chicken bouillon already has salt, but it's a perfect amount in here. So I'm gonna wait until the very end. And if I think it needs any salt, I will adjust it then. But for now, it's just gonna go like this. So I'm gonna replace my lid and I'm gonna let it cook like that for two and a half hours. So it's been two and a half hours and I just removed the neck bones out of the pot. I'm gonna remove the meat off the bone and then I'm gonna give it a nice chop and then I'm gonna put it back into the pot. The meat is just literally coming off the bone. Look at this. See how tender it is? So you wanna make sure that you remove it off the bone really good and then discard the bones. Oh, it smells smoky and delicious. Look at that, see? So I'm done removing all the meat off the bones. See here the bones, you wanna discard these. I've given it a nice rough chop. So now I'm ready to take this back to the pot. So as you can see, everything looks beautiful in this pot. Look at this. Ooh, and the carrots are so nice and tender. So now I'm gonna add all my chopped meat back into the pot. And I've got my ham right here. I have two cups of cubed ham right here. I'm gonna add one tomato that I have diced. That's optional, but I like the tomato in here because I just think it's refreshing and it gives it pretty color. And I have some chopped parsley. I'm gonna add some chopped parsley in here. And I'm gonna give it a nice stir. Ooh, look at how hearty this looks. Yummy. Now this would be a good time for you to taste it and see if it needs any salt for you. Adjust it. Oh my gosh, it's absolutely perfect. I'm gonna replace the lid and I'm gonna let these last ingredients come in together for just 15 minutes, just like this. So our white bean and ham soup is ready. Let's take a look at it.
now it's time to serve. Now I already removed the bay leaves. You want to make sure that you take the bay leaves out and discard them. Mm. Now I made some cornbread while this was on the stove. It just goes so perfect with cornbread. But you can serve it with anything that you like. See? Now it's time for the taste test. I like to cut a piece of this cornbread. Oh my gosh, this is super delicious. The flavor of the smoked neck bones in here. And then the seasoning is just so perfect with the sweetness of the carrots and the plumpy big pieces of ham together with the cornbread. All of it is just too good. So this is my delicious white bean and ham soup. If you like my video, give me a thumbs up. Send me a comment and tell me what you think. Thank you.